So continuing with the drive now, I've still got the window down for visibility and knowing what's around me. There's a pedestrian to my left, so I'm just going to double check where he goes before I pull away. Traffic lights behind me does change. Uh, I'm going to give a signal so that the uh, pedestrians behind me and in front know that I'm going to be pulling away. I'm going to still take a P1 position through here for view. No one alongside me. Information tells me that the lights have just changed onto green ahead and there's a van or a taxi from behind. Um, because the lights are coming down green, I'm going to change up to third, but I do expect them to change back to red again. The, um, and I'm actually off the power now. I'm thinking about the van from behind. I need to let him know that the lights are on red. I'm going to be turning right at the light, so I'm happy with what's alongside me. So I've positioned over towards P3 to turn right. I'm giving great light signals to the van driver from behind to say the lights are on red. Um, as I'm approaching, I'm slowing it down. I'm then choosing to give a signal to let him know after the junction on the right to say that I intend to turn right. Now I've got my speed down, I'm going to select the gear to go, which will be second, checking there's no one coming on front and having looked both ways before I'm coming through. I'm going to make the decision, there is a lady crossing the road, so I'll let her finish her conversation on the phone and then I'm going to turn right. Um, I'm just checking with the van who, who's overtaking before I'm moving out, information, get my position, I'm happy with my speed, I'm not going to change gear because I can't see enough to make that decision, taking a position over the left for view. Information tells me there's limited view here and the road bends to the left, it's a dual carriageway and I have to turn left. Taking position for view, I'm happy with my speed and I'm still happy with my gear. There's no one directly behind me, I'm still taking in information, having a look to the left before I turn right. And having a look at, to the right now, there is a car and there is a gap, so I'm going to take the opportunity, I'm happy with my gear and I'm happy with the speed. Smoothing out the steering wheel now, up to the 30 limit and then it changes to 40 ahead. Information says there's nothing in lane 2 as we join this section of road at the moment. There is now in the distance brake lights from the vehicle ahead. Now before I change gear I need more information, so I'm going to have a look what's happening in front and behind after the brow of the hill then to change up. Lights currently on green in the distance ahead. Because I can see and it's clear, I'm going to change to fourth gear. I'm going to turn right on the roundabout, taking the fourth exit. Um, so I'm going to remain in this lane as per the road markings. I'm going to position slightly left of my lane for view, and the lights, as expected, have changed to red. I'm trying to time them for when they get changed back to green again. Information tells me I've got an escape route to the right, the car behind's moving into lane two behind, and I've got an escape route to the left. There's a silver car stationed me and cars waiting on the left. The lights have changed as expected. Because my speed's reduced with acceleration sense, I'm gonna select the gear and keep the escape route open to my right. And as the red car comes past me on the right, I'm gonna ease off to let it come by with acceleration sense. Also, the lights are on red ahead. So taking a left-hand position inside my lane for view and brake light signals as we come up behind the van. As I've reduced my speed, I'm going to select second gear and try and move forward fairly steadily. Now we've got a slow mover ahead, which is a driving school car. Checking I can make the other side of the crossing on the um, box junction before I move forward. I'm just going to keep and move out of the way for the chap behind that's turning to my left as he moves into um, lane two to come off. And I'm a little bit closer than I would be normally to the van in front, just because I'm allowing traffic to pass to the left-hand side. And now looking around the corner to the Dreams and the retail park on the left-hand side and expecting the lights to change shortly. Just keeping an eye on the mirror because I'm likely to be hit from behind. I have got an escape route to my left though at the moment. Lights have changed. Information tells me there's nothing coming out from the retail park, but there is a car to my right, so I've got no escape route and the van turns left. I'm going to give out a signal to other people here just to let the insignia you know behind that I'm intending to come onto this section it is a 50 mile an hour speed limit according to the signs lady walking I'm now looking for the gap I'm not going to change gear until I've got the information to act upon but I am going to say because there's a lorry to my right I'm going to come in behind the red lorry um, I'm just using acceleration sense to time that double checking my right shoulder which is more information and now coming up towards the 50 mile an hour limit brake lights in the distance I'm now going to relax the engine I'm holding back as the lorry's moving for my following distance and view and the speed limit has changed to the national but I am taking the next exit so they would be pointless on looking to make any more progress in lane two although I would do probably normally. Taking a position offset to the vehicle ahead letting people know I intend to come off on this exit with the information to the JCB 121 driver behind with his number plate. 
I can't see the exit very well, so I'm going to give him a brake light signal behind just to let him know I intend to come off and there could be a problem, no waiting at any time. I intend to take the second exit on the roundabout, from local knowledge, limited view. So as my limit point, which is how far I can see through the tarmac, which might move away from me towards me or remain static, um, I'm considering that as I come down the hill. Using my acceleration sense and brakes to slow down, off the brakes choosing gear to go, it does look clear, keeping the information flowing as I'm coming through. Letting people know I intend to come off the roundabout and positioning out for view, taking in information throughout with my mirrors, uphill, um, I'm just keeping it in gear now as I'm trying to get the view up the hill. I'm going to relax the engine as it will cope with it in third gear up this hill at 30 mile an hour. We've got a black car from behind, again taking in information. Now I'm going to take the position over towards the left of view, probably with my wheel in between the double yellow lines. I'm happy that the gutters are fairly smooth and it's not wet at the moment. Thinking about the houses on the right, again taking in information with the chimney tops to the right, that there could be someone coming out of a junction. So I'm keeping an eye out, I'm happy with the black car from behind. Properties on both sides, so expecting people coming to and from. I'm being pessimistic as I come up towards the junctions that someone's going to pull out in front of me. I plan to turn left at the lights and I'm expecting them to change, covering the horn for the black car reversing on the left. And the lights have changed as expected, being pessimistic. Just having a look into the road on the left. Brake light signals out to the person behind and signals left. Now I'm planning to turn left, I'm trying to look over the um, the brick wall which is more information and leaving a little bit of room between me and the stop line in order that I've got somewhere to escape to if something happens, Hyundai to my right. Double checking for cyclists, looking over the um, fence to the left and also the brick wall. One's other, another one's joined on the right hand lane and another one behind us and another one in lane two. Expecting the lights to change, so starting to progress slowly forward as I'm expecting the lights to change and it also gives me a little bit of a view beyond the Hyundai for any pedestrians that may be crossing the road. Limited view so I'm not going to change gear quite yet until I've got a good view of the road ahead. Park either side, green area, car approaching from the left so horn signal, I'm going to make the decision now he's seen me to change to second but not to third because the lights have changed to red. I would, I'm going to follow the road ahead on the lights and lane one looks like the lane to use. There's no one alongside me in the left hand lane and we've got a black car behind me. We've got someone playing football on both sides of the road so expecting a ball to come into the road and kids to follow. Brake lights to the vehicle from behind in black and the vehicle behind them. Trying to arrive at the lights of course when they change to green. I can see clearly through this junction there's no emergency services coming through but there is a garage the other side of the lights. One brake light signal out from the taxi driver ahead, leaving an escape route between me and the vehicle in front and still gently rolling forward for economy. Starting to make the decision now to come to a stop, we have got an insignia joining us from behind the queue behind, so I'm going to put my handbrake on and take it out of gear. I might consider turning the engine off, but I'm going to wait a few more seconds to see what the lights do first. I'm going to make the decision to leave the engine running in this situation with lots of cars approaching from behind. I'm going to select first gear. Information dictates that the shop's on both sides and a pedestrian crossing ahead. I'm expecting the lights to change because I can see the neck the other set for the opposite direction have changed to red. Just waiting for the taxi to move before I fully move forward. I'm happy there's no cyclists either side and I'm going to position for safety towards the centre of the road, towards P3, away from the garage for now. No one overtaking me, just double checking both sides of the crossing. Junction on the left and oncoming side a long queue of traffic from behind that have come through the traffic lights. Remaining in second gear for flexibility, one car pulling out from the right, possibly going to hit the cyclist, so giving him a bit of room, he has seen him, and a narrow view here as I'm coming through, so just taking my time, less space, less speed, no one either side. Uh, just waiting for the red car, covering the horn, just making sure he has seen me, thanking him for waiting, and then left mirror just to move back in, taking further information. Now I've got the information, I can then change up, it's downhill. Oncoming car expecting to cross my path, so brake light signals to the black car from behind, lights just changed to red ahead, or certainly brake light signals from the car in the distance. At the roundabout, I intend to go straight ahead, park car on the pavement to the right, there's also junctions on both sides, I'm nearly at the speed limit now, I'm going to follow the road ahead, oncoming cars, information says there's vehicles behind me and, to the, and the, there's nothing alongside me and my position's going to be for view at this point. I'm going to start to reduce my speed with my brakes only. Once I've reduced my speed to time the roundabout, once my view opens up, because information says it's very limited here, I'm then going to choose my gear. 
I'm going to wait now because there's a Mercedes and I'm going to choose first gear because I'm a speed no one alongside me. I'm going to move forward and I intend to exit the roundabout. So I'm going to let everybody know that with further information as I'm exiting. Using fixed position steering for smoothness, no one either side. Positioning in P3 um, as I'm moving up towards the left-hander. There's also lots of greenery here with expectation of people crossing the road, pedestrian on the right, solid white line. Still got a black car quite close from behind, Mercedes in the distance. Considering a slightly left position, possibly P2 because of the driveways on the left, for view down the hill. And I'm going to turn the lights on because we're underneath the undergrowth here. And I'm going to position towards P1 now because now I can see the junctions are clear. I get a better view of the road ahead and the Mercedes is turning left. So I'm going to give out brake light signals to the vehicle behind. There's no one overtaking me, no one undertaking me. Keeping the brake lights on so the Mercedes is sorting some, sort themselves out, positioning towards P3 for view. They're continuing down the road now but not with full acceleration because of the fact I can't see very much. And I'm anticipating following the road ahead at the next roundabout which is exit number 2. Thus might pull away and I'm just using the brakes to keep within the speed limit as I'm coming down the hill and I'm also anticipating someone crossing the road. The black car's going for lane two behind me now on an overtake. There's a red KA coming from the right and there's also um, no one crossing on the crossing and a Volvo just come across our path. I'm going to wait for the red Skoda to come round the roundabout before making a decision. It does look clear, so second gear and go. I'm following the road ahead, so I'm not going to signal yet, but I intend to exit now. So I'm going to let the Astra driver to the left know I'm intending to come off. There is an insignia in lane two behind, moved in behind me into lane, to lane one. Thanking her for, for that consideration as she's coming nice and slowly behind me, expecting the lights to change, all of them on green, car coming from the left. I have an escape route to my right at the moment. As I'm approaching the lights, I'm going to give a brake light signal in case the lights change. Now I'm going to make a decision to go. Next set of lights might do the same. I'm just looking to the right towards the bus place just to see if anything's coming out. Making a decision to go at this point, pedestrian on the left. I intend to turn left on this roundabout, so I'm going to let the insignia driver know behind as there's no more junctions. Um, and there's no one alongside me here with the railings to the left. Now I've got restricted view on this roundabout. I'm trying to look at the exit before I'm going to make my decision to go. There's lots of pedestrian railings, many to my right, which I can see over. I'm going to use first gear for acceleration as I come out of here because there's a lot of cars coming from my right. And it looks like there is a park, park, car looking to park on the left hand side just beyond the roundabout. So I'm going to give a right signal as I'm exiting the roundabout to let the insignia know. Just a quick sideways glance. And I intend to move back to lane two. I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to signal back to lane two at the moment but not moving in yet because I'm waiting for the punto to just do their lane change and I'm going to move over towards lane two and accelerate out of the way now so I'm happy with the lights I'm happy with the junction and I'm going to change up to third gear because I can't see what's around the corner information first positioning slightly right for the view I can see the traffic lights are on red that renders the fourth gear unnecessary now lane two is probably clearer but not much and the lights have just changed Brake light signals are poor from the vehicle in front because he's lost a signal. I'm going to give brake light signals to the Skoda behind. The next set of lights are on red anyway. I'm expecting these to change, and they have. So just using my brake light signals to warn the guys approaching from behind, trying to arrive when they change as much as possible, keeping the car rolling. There's one Mondeo from behind, taking in information from my side mirrors, and also taking in information by having the window down slightly so I can hear what's around. Trying not to get distracted by the cars on the right hand side. And also the car behind is letting the person out and the doors are just opened. Bus stop to the left, there's no one waiting. Hospital in the distance are expecting emergency services. Lights haven't changed in the opposite direction. Yes they have, they've just changed. Very close Mondeo from behind but I'm expecting to be able to keep my rolling. I'm expecting the next set of lights to change. No one coming from the left, no one coming from the right. There is people overtaking me. Now there is a cyclist that has just crossed my path and I'm expecting these lights to change so I'm not going to change quite yet until I get to the second arrow. I'm now going to make my decision to come through and then I'm going to change my gear if I'm happy. I'm happy now so I'm going to come through. An amber light does mean you must stop behind the line unless it's going to cause a collision and to stop at that point will be too late and it will cause a collision. So that's why I make my decision a car length or so from the junction depending on the speed. Of course you should always be able to stop if there isn't a situation but I'm looking through before I'm going to go. So at this point I'm going to make a decision to stop and I'm going to give a brake light signal to the vehicle behind. So I'm taking, using and giving information throughout. The next piece of information is the Mondeo from behind. He's my biggest risk at the moment although they are slowing down. There is another car behind him in black which is a... Um, 
and Astra, in the distance there is a pedestrian crossing the road with a junction on the left and the lights are on red. I intend to go straight on through them lights. There is a car in lane 2 approaching quickly and I'm expecting our lights to change soon and I'm expecting an ambulance possibly coming from the left. Lights have changed and the second set have changed as well. I'm expecting them to change back to red. Look into the left for more information. No escape route to the right because of the Corsa. And now I'm going to change up now the escape route's reopened, junction on the left. The car ahead might turn or someone might come out of that junction. I'm also expecting the lights to change. Now, we'll see that there's a change in speed limit to 30 here from the 40, and the car has approached the junction as expected, so I've also gone, although I have got an escape route, and it has changed to 30. So I'm happy with my speed, I'm happy with my gear. I'm not going to change it either because the lights, I'm expecting them to change. Ahead of that, there's another set of traffic lights and pedestrians on both side pavements, although this is currently a dual carriageway. I'm going to give brake light signals to the Mondeo from behind. I'm going to make a decision at this point to continue through. Looking both ways through the junction, it looks clear. I'm intending to turn left at the next set of traffic lights as a pedestrian crossing in between that point and there is a stationary car that was the um, focus that was in front of us a moment ago. Brake light signals to the black Astra from behind. I'm going to let them know my intention to turn left. Cyclist on the far pavement to the right. The lights have just changed. And drop my gear now my speed is reduced so that I can accelerate through the next section. Looking into the retail part to the left that we're turning into, having a look up the hill, going to make a decision to go looking left and right as I'm coming through. No one down the left hand side in the mirror. I want lane two, so I enter McDonald's. Just going to check my right mirror before I do, and the roundabout does look fairly clear. Lady to the left has seen me, so I'm going to give her a thank you. I'm going to signal off the roundabout, and then I'm going to apply a separate signal, checking down the left hand side of the car, to say I'm going to turn into McDonald's. I'm going to turn into McDonald's now, and I intend to reverse back into a space so I get a clear view out of the exit, and that will be more economical because my car will be warm as I'm approaching the space as I'm reversing into it. Just checking both sides of the crossing, coming through nice and slow. I'm looking for my space now to reverse into or to um, park into at this point. There are some pedestrians in the distance. Now there are, is a car to my right which is a Virgin um, media vehicle and there's a lady on the pavement in front. So I'm going to come to a near stop. There's no one behind me at the moment. And I'm now going to move forward looking to the right to see what the... Um, Virgin a car is going to do. In order for me to go into one of these spaces I will need to um, take a wide berth. So I'm coming round towards the right. I in intended to take a space on the left but there isn't one. So I'm looking behind me in my blind spot to reverse back into a space behind me. I usually choose a space where I don't need to cross a road and I've got a pedestrian crossing but unfortunately that is not available at this point. Again I'm taking in information before I moved and I'm also giving out information with my reverse lights and brake lights as necessary. I'm continuing to look behind me throughout the whole process and I'm straightening the wheel as I'm coming to a stop. I'm looking where the curb is over my shoulders and then slowly coming to a stop and popping my handbrake on.